Welcome back to Daily Riot. Today, we're going to cover the whole Capici story. This TikToker who goes by the username Capici advises nearly 5 million followers to invade vacant homes in the U.S. And here's what he says. I've thought about invading a house in the United States because I've learned that there is a law that says that if a house is not inhabited, we can seize it. The video was viewed over 4 million times before his account was deleted. This was the video right here. And I want you to pay attention to this piece of crap's face. You can see that he is absolutely angry. He's got disdain. He's absolutely disrespectful. He thinks people here are, are idiots. Just watch it. Mi gente, he pensado invadir una casa en Junei State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. You know, this guy uh, obviously bothers me, but what really really bothers me is that he didn't figure this out on his own, okay? This guy doesn't even speak English. He doesn't even speak English, so he definitely doesn't read English. And I can tell you this much, most Americans don't even understand the nuances of real estate law or, you know, landlord tenant relationships as it pertains to like loopholes and how to exploit these. Maybe there's some people who know, but this guy who can't speak English, who can't read English, absolutely doesn't know that. So how did he learn that? Well, there are leftist activist organizations who are out there actively teaching these people to defraud Americans out of their homes. Okay, this this the FBI should be all over this and this should they, they need to investigate, find out who's teaching these people this and, uh, you know, slap them with a conspiracy to uh, commit fraud. In this one, he's basically crying about his account being banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he, he, this piece of crap always has his daughter in his videos trying to exploit her somehow. In a previous video, he bragged that his infant daughter is an anchor baby and his golden ticket in the U.S. Basically, we are, our taxes are going to pay for these people to illegally come here. Uh, to live here illegally, and to commit crimes, rob people. What is going to drive you insane is when you find out that the police are actually helping these invaders rob people of their homes. Let's continue with this real quick. In, a, in other videos, he taught illegals how to shoplift clothing from retail stores and return the merchandise for refunds. Wow. Wow. So basically, they're robbing the stores and then taking the stuff back, getting refunds, getting cash, basically. Moreno also raised money for a 15-year-old Venezuelan immigrant who shot a security guard while shoplifting in NYC's Times Square. What's happening now is they take people's homes and they're leasing them out to other invaders. So they're operating a business. They're, pay they're taking someone's home and they're leasing it out, effectively acting as a... Um, a landlord, a fake landlord to these other invaders and collecting money. Um, so whenever the owner shows up, you know, what's going on here? The guy's like, well, I pay rent here. I'm paying rent and um, I have an agreement. They hold up some piece of paper that, I don't know, has scribbles on it or whatever. But the cops are actually uh, assisting these squatters. We're going to watch this video here. They steal my house. Yes, you are. So, Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. Yeah. For what? For being, in for, being in my, for being in my own home. Adele Andaloro says the intruders moved in about six weeks ago. They changed the entire front door and lock of her home. I don't own this. Exactly. Yes. She does. Yes. But then, once again, you should know how the law works. I and do know how it there's, works. There's rules to the as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. The woman managed to get inside and lock the squatters out, but the men stormed back inside. Uh, so... Uh, uh, it's not going on. It's not going on. Call the police again. The men called the police on her and got her arrested for the illegal eviction. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They claimed they've been renting the property since October, but failed to provide any documentation. By the time that someone does their investigation, we'll be well over the 30 days and this man will have stolen my home. Yeah. So 
as you heard that guy say, well, there's rules to this, you know, knowing full well that taking him to court and doing the whole process will run up the 30 days. And once that 30 days runs up, I think they become uh, permanent. Uh, their squatting rights basically kicks in fully and they, it's almost impossible to get them out. A video went viral, a Joe Rogan video, 33.6 million views now. Um, regarding this squatter situation. Let's go ahead and jump into this real quick. Well, did you read the story about the guy? I think he's from <laughs> Venezuela. I had to make a move. He's telling yeah. people how to get over the border and then squat in houses and yeah. like how you'll just get yeah. like, you know, it's like they won't throw you out of their house. It's oh, not yeah. like where we're from. You can just get in the house yeah, and then you can stay there. Queens. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The so, lady got arrested yeah, she for got changing arrested. the locks on her own home. Uh -huh. and that then, to me is crazy. They're the also squatting. saying in New York, if you're in a house for 30 days, you legally that's become right. a tenant. Yep, that's if right. If you get mail sent to the place in your name, it's yours. That is bananas. That is a functioning society has to have property rights. The entire point of government is to exercise its monopoly on violence to enforce the rights of private citizens to own property. That is pretty much it. If you can boil everything down, right? You boil it all down. That's really what uh, makes capitalism work. If you take that away, you take away the economic fabric of capitalism. If people can't own private property or their rights to their own personal property cannot be maintained, it's not a right anymore. Now you have to defend it. And what's going to happen is people are going to resort to violence in order to defend it. And then once that happens, confidence in law enforcement is absolutely lost. I'm surprised. I'd be surprised if there is any left at this point because of what's happening. Cops aren't even showing up anymore. If someone robs your house, you call the cops, they're going to say, are the thieves still there? If you say no, they're like, well, there's no real emergency here. Uh, we're not really going to come. We don't come out for that anymore. So you can go online and fill out a report, which they will basically ignore. They don't care. I I personally been robbed three different times when I wasn't home, called the cops. They show up, they write down what you tell them, and then they disappear. You never hear from them. And that's been happening for a long time. But now it's even worse. Now they're not even going to show up. You're paying taxes for law enforcement to defend your rights to personal property and safety. I personally would be surprised at this point if there's any confidence left. Now we're at a point where a lot of people just fear the government for their monopoly on violence, and that can only hold people back for so long. I was talking to friends of mine. There, there's like, there's like over a thousand squatter situations in Atlanta, and they're like, well, it's only a thousand. The population is this big. It doesn't really matter. I'm like, dude, 10 people doing it is alarming. Yeah, a thousand is <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. That means they know how to do it. They know the loophole. Yes. And you need to tighten that loophole up, you fuckheads. People are so smart. They know how to jock the system. A hundred percent, especially criminals and yeah. fraudsters, which is the type of person who's got... I mean, you imagine they're filming them. This is my house. Yeah. They're filming <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. This is where I live now. Uh -huh. yeah. And they know that you have to pay them to get out. And that's what a lot of homeowners do. But the problem is then another person is just going to jump in. Well, and the eviction process is so long... And you have to hire a lawyer. Yeah. You have to go to court. Yeah, and then it's then all it on the homeowner. And good yeah. luck trying to sell the place because if you're not there in the house, they'll just squat. But they always hold up like a dirty piece of paper. I have a lease. And yeah. it's just like like a happy face <laughs> and a house crayon. behind it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was explaining how he did it. This guy was explaining how he did it in this YouTube video. He was saying that he you get a fake lease. Mm -hmm. So you draft, out, draft up a fake lease. You use that lease to get the power and things turn in your name. You pay the bill. Like there's a bunch of different steps that you can do that just seems to indicate that you are the legal resident, right. and then they have to take you to court. And it could be months and months Years. before you even get a trial. Yeah. And where do they stay? The homeowners. They're fucked in a migrant They're hotel. <laughs> the cra the uh, it's so crazy that in the name of protecting tenants, which is important, you yep. don't want a shitty landlord. You want yeah. to protect tenants, mm -hmm. but in the name of protecting tenants, you're you're basically allowing people to steal people's houses. Michigan now is saying, we're going to give you $500 a month to just put these invaders in your house. Yeah. Then they can take your house from you. When you when you go out to get groceries, they'll just start squatting and uh, call the cops on you, kick you out of your own house. 
that's that's definitely what you don't want to do. Yeah, the situation is basically untenable at this point. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, because YouTube definitely is on their side. They're not liking these types of videos when we make them, and all of the help that we get is appreciated. All right, until the next one.